Growing up, one of my favorite television programs was WKRP in Cincinnati. So it is with a heavy heart that I acknowledge the passing of Frank Bonner, who played radio station ace salesman Herb Tarlick. Frank died on June 16, 2021, due to complications from Lewy body dementia. When I heard what Frank had been suffering from, my heart just ached because my mother passed away from the same thing last year, and I wish I could report that it was a peaceful way to go, but if Frank's situation was anything like hers, I'm guessing that his last few months were not the most pleasant. In my mother's case, she lost all ability to recognize any of her family, and she was afraid all of the time. I sincerely hope that didn't happen with Frank. I really do. Frank Bonner was just 79 at the time of his passing. So like I said, WKRP was a favorite show of mine, and that's because the program had a wonderful cast and some really great stories that always made me laugh. Combine that with the awesome music that DJs Johnny Fever and Venus Flytrap would play, and well, you've got a hit. Really, if you think about it, show creator Hugh Wilson and team really hit a bullseye when they cast each one of these characters. And I loved Herb Tarlick. Sure, he was an exaggeration, but you know what? Underneath all the pomp and bluster, along with his terrible wardrobe choices, there was something that was very genuine and real about Frank Bonner's portrayal of this deeply flawed feller. And what made the show great was that it wasn't just Herb who seemed more real than most folks that you meet in a sitcom. All of the characters were that way. One of my favorite episodes from season one involves a turkey drop. In that episode, Gordon Jump, with Frank Bonner right there at his side, gets to deliver one of the all-time great lines in television history. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Truthfully, I have no idea how Frank managed to keep a straight face during that scene. But he did, and it was a true credit to his craft. Bonner reprised his iconic role when WKRP returned with new episodes in the 90s. Instead of being on CBS, this time the show was a first-run syndicated program that ran for two seasons. I liked this version of WKRP, but I've got to say that the magic wasn't quite there the second time around. So it's probably good that Frank had branched out and had made a name for himself directing network sitcoms, shows like Newhart and Who's the Boss, and even his old friend Howard Hesseman in Head of the Class. And Frank found his most steady work directing on the NBC sitcom City Guys, which ran four seasons beginning in 1997. Frank directed over a hundred episodes of that show. Over the past decade or so, Frank settled on into retirement and stepped away from the limelight. Although if you purchased any of the WKRP DVDs when they were released in 2007, you undoubtedly are aware that Frank contributed to the bonus material found on those discs. Gary Sandy. Yep, Andy Travis himself was among the first to break the news of Frank's passing via Facebook. But you know what? I think I liked Michael Desbaris' tweet the best when he said, clearly, he was loved. And that, my friends, is an absolute fact. All right, let's end this video with a picture of Frank being a bit of a goofball here. So what are your memories of Frank and his character Herb Tarlick and the show WKRP in Cincinnati? Please share your memories in the comments section. While you're at it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Maybe even share this video on Facebook and Twitter. And what the heck? As long as you're at it, why not subscribe to the channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.